we know um, now is the time to bring us to, to the discussion part. Uh, we don't have um, much time um, available. Uh, still, we can um, we can um, we can go into detail um, very very briefly uh, on some aspects um, which was which could not be covered uh, during during the presentations uh, on the examples and even on the on the on the key speaker uh, presentation if you like so um, maybe I'll start um, with um, with the Giovanni Orio uh, from prophecy uh, project um, is a question related to the to the application of uh, Rami 4.0 um, if you'd like to go um, briefly uh, on how it is uh, this standard particularly um, adopted in the in prophecy project and um, if you'd like to give also an overview on the general challenges prospects of the AAS as you mentioned yeah um, actually uh, at the time we um, we developed the prophecy asset administration shell it was a concept, uh, it was uh, a very early concept, the administration shell. So uh, it was a specification and um, in the in the platform of our industry 4.0, we, we had only uh, some guidance on how to implement an asset administration shell in order to create an industry 4.0 component. Uh, so uh, we took uh, all the information that we had at that time um that was not so uh, that was not a lot of information but we uh, we came up with a, a concept that is in line with the asset administration shell however uh, we evolved also this uh, component uh, a long time and uh, we uh, we deployed another version that is the nova asset administration shell that is actually an evolution of the uh, prophecy asset administration shell and uh, this component uh, already have uh, includes actually uh, the last specification from the uh, from the industry 4.0 actually um, what we uh, had now what we have now is the meta model of the asset administration shell that uh, is in line with the specification of the rami 4.0 when we uh, developed the um, prophecy asset administration shell, this meta model was not defined by the was still not defined by the asset by the um, industry 4.0 um, uh, by the um, Rami. So uh, the challenge at the time when we started to develop the administration shell was actually the lack of the information uh, on how to implement this component. However, um, the very uh, however we had we uh, we were capable to uh, specify the component and to uh, create this component. And uh, the next step, the, the next challenge was a little bit to uh, the deployment of this component because it, since it is not uh, it is not still a standard, um, it is not easy to introduce this component within uh, industry. Uh, however, uh, I think that uh, in uh, 2022, uh, it is supposed to be the, the standard uh, related with the asset administration shell. And so uh, I think that uh, starting from uh, the next year, uh, it will be very easy to introduce the asset administration shell as a software component for all the industries because it will be it will become a standard and also it is also supported by other projects like uh, Gaia X or uh, the industrial data space already uses the concept of asset administration shell so starting from now I think that it will be uh, very easy to uh, to use the asset administration shell to introduce in in an industrial context the asset administration shell component when we started in prophecy um, uh, it was a little bit hard to to try let me say to to sell the the component but now I think that it will be easier for us Thank you. Thank you for your clarification, uh, Giovanni Orio. Um, I will have uh, also a question uh, for um, Dr. Yves uh, Caron uh, from um, 
from Isadeus on up, uptime projects. Um, if you like also to give a perspective on how uh, can the standardization contribute to lowering the barriers uh, companies facing in implementing predictive maintenance. Yes, um, yes thank you, uh, Marco. Um, Yes, obviously, uh, the st standards uh, uh, enable yes, uh, the interoperability of, of different components involved uh, to, uh, to implement a predictive maintenance uh, st strategy. Um, I think uh, uh, so, as we, we have shown, uh, using uh, module of a functional specification uh, with modular blocks and supported by uh, uh, information uh, standards like MIMOSA, uh, MIMOSA schemas, which follow this uh, functional uh, modular architecture. I think, uh, of course, it uh, lowers the, the costs uh, because you, you, you can find uh, for each each module, the best of the breed, at the, and also the, the most, uh, um, uh, if, in terms of cost, the, 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 lower, the lowest cost uh, components, and not uh, a complete solution of a, of a big editor, for instance. And uh, so, in the first investment, uh, uh, the, 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 it will lower the cost, and I think. Of course, uh, so economics is uh, very important for to implement new uh, uh, new ways of uh, conducting uh, maintenance, and for for the future also, uh, if uh, you have a, a modular architecture, and uh, for for the different modules uh, uh, standards, uh, you can uh, reuse uh, most of the time for uh, especially discipline standards. I think. Um, you you can yes uh, satisfy new business requirements uh, because you know industry uh, uh, is always trying to 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 improve and to 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 have a, uh, to improve its performance. So it it uh, the solutions must be uh, not uh, should not be an obstacle to 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 these uh, to these changes and um, uh, so uh, and you can find also on the market new technologies new new and also sometimes new new standards like uh, as I said before, the, I think uh, the asset administration shell is, uh, is uh, an initiative of, of the future, and uh, and it's a very uh, trustworthy uh, way to to uh, to 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 implement uh, such uh, strategies until uh, uh, the, the digital twin, for for, for instance. So. <clears throat> For the first investment, and for the, uh, the to, to to take the um, and, for, and for the future, I think uh, standards are definitely uh, uh, good ways to to lower this obstacle of cost at the at the beginning. And, uh, uh, we can see the, the benefits, but we have also the cost. It's uh, always a, a balance, and, and to to decide people and to make more accessible uh, these new ways of uh, conducting maintenance for SMEs and for uh, because uh, some uh, uh, big, uh, how to say, integrated suites of uh, editors, uh, which are not not always uh, comp uh, compliant with standards, which are uh, also not always, uh, um, how to say, uh, fr from the, the last technologies, uh, are not affordable for, for SMEs, I think. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Um, unfortunately, we don't have uh, more time available. Uh, so, um, just, uh, just before closing, let me also recall that other methodologies 
that have been analyzed along the way, keeping the main uh, of the standardization subgroup of horsey and on harmonizing and looking into the future of IoT in Industry 4.0, and specifically when it comes to predictive maintenance as a key asset for the future of EU industries. So thank you once again for your participation and hope you enjoyed the webinar. The material um, will be available. Uh, you, can, you can please uh, check on the, on the 4C webpage and um, hope you enjoyed. Have a nice day. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Marco. Thank you, Rudy. Thank, thank you, Marco. Thank you. Thank you, Bye. Marco. Bye. Thank you all.